My name is Jeremiah Anderson, and I'm here today to talk to you about education. Right now, we're seeing some disturbing trends that are starting to emerge of students being bored, highly distracted in classes, and we're medicating them a lot. So um, what we would like to see are more of these light bulbs turning on, um, students being engaged, asking more questions, and things like that and thinking more outside of the box to solve problems for later on. So the first thing we need to look at are the students. The students have been changing because of technology. So now we have more and more distractions, more and more things going on. Also, along with that, we have more and more material to cover for these students, and we're trying to cram it all in. So the students are struggling. Therefore, we resort to things like medications and such. However, we can use some of these things to our advantage. Students are now better than ever at things like multitasking because that's what they do all the time with text messaging, Facebook, and such. So we need to tap into some of these resources that they use. They're also very smart, and students haven't changed much in other areas. They still want to be challenged. So another part of what we need to look at is our philosophies as um, educators. One thing that of my, one of my favorite um, philosophies is KISS, keep it simple, stupid. Um, if students don't understand what we're telling them, they're not going to remember it. And then there are going to be gaps in their education, which are going to cause a lot of problems later on in life for them. Also, we need to have their backs at all times. I have two Marines up here, Colonel Anna Smythe and um, Major Doug Zimbeck. I remember both of them very fondly because I served under both of them. And they had their Marines' backs at all times. They knew the Marines, they knew their problems, and they took care of them. We knew this and we would follow them. Major Zimbeck here was killed in action in 2007 in Baghdad when he told his men to get down while he stood there and was shot by the sniper that he had spotted. The ultimate, I have your back. Another part of education is our techniques. We have all kinds of things that we can use from simple models such as maybe a little fly to teach genetics with Velcro on it to be able to easily change and to actually demonstrate these principles. Pipe cleaners with little beads on them that can be used to also help display genetics. But there are other things that are certainly more complex that require a different type of model, possibly. For example, what I have up here, with our chromosome being broken down, we can see all the way through what every little part of it is so that we can visualize this. We also need to tap into imagination much more. Um, this is something that's highly been lacking. Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. So we need to put all of these together as an educator in order to educate our students to the best of their abilities. My techniques, or my methods, employ different techniques and in a very structured manner. And we need to understand why. So I explain exactly why we're using the models, how to use the models, and when to use lecture, models, and other such applications, because this is all very important. Um, also, let's see here. Um, we don't want to lower our standards, but we do need to change because the students have changed, but our system has not. So with my methods, we can solve this problem of education. Thank you. Questions?
Yes, Paul. One of the key things in education innovation is uh, validation of the strategies by pre and post testing and, and controls and experimental groups. Have yes. you thought anything about that? Well, a lot of what I have are putting together different ideas, so say models and things like that. However, I explain how they're used and when they should be used. So um, I guess one of my examples would be, I remember in the Marines, one of the first things they did was they lectured us about a specific type of movement. And I didn't have a clue of what they were talking about. And then they went up there and they drew it on the board. This is a specific type of movement that we're going to be doing. We're going to be performing as a squad. Um, and I still didn't understand it. And I really didn't get what was going on. And then they put it up. Um, they took a clip from a movie, put it up there, and showed it actually in action. And all of a sudden, you see light bulbs turn on everywhere. What I have thought about this a lot was they gave us the knowledge ahead of time, even though we didn't understand it, and then worked us through step by step so that when we saw it, we actually knew what was going on. Because if I just saw the video clip, it wouldn't have done me any good. If you would have just lectured about it, it wouldn't have done me any good. It was very specific in the manner that they had presented that type of material. So that's how I look at it a lot. So a lot of my um, methods have been employed by people like the Marines or other teachers and such. And I explain why they're being used so that the instructor can understand them. Um, and then employ what they need properly based on how they teach and their teaching styles.